Good morning. It is the fourth day of a week on pizza. Four days so far of eating nothing but pizza. I am very happy. It's like a dream come true. So uh, as you can see, we're currently in the car. I don't have any pizza on me for breakfast and I've not had any pizza for breakfast today because we're bouncing around because uh, I ate all of my pizza yesterday and I was very happy and sick and I slept a long time full of cheese, cheese-induced nightmares about pizza. No, not really. So we're on the way uh, for, for some lunch, unsurprisingly, to get pizza today. Uh, so we're going to have our first um, outing at a restaurant, a pizza restaurant. So uh, join us as we, uh, we scoff our faces with more bread, tomato and cheese. We've come to Milton Keynes, there's the stadium. Thankfully it's not a match day today. But we're going for lunch, Pizza Express. Not super busy. Plenty to choose from. Barbecue burnt end sounds good. Diavolo for cheese. I think I'm going for this though. Ooh, what's that? A starter for crazy. Pesto dough balls. Pesto, -dough. Pesto balls. Get them in your face. Good. Mm -hmm. Really pesto-y. <laughs> really pesto-y. Well, I'm not surprised. Look at the amount. Mm -hmm. Look at the size of that. I don't know how I'm going to cut this. Looks amazing. That's going to take forever. Oh, God. Right, so we've got peppers, pancetta, cheese. Oh, I'm still not cut yet. Chicken, peppers, parsley. Some sort of herbs on there as well. Yeah. Right. Oh, look at the size. That's a lovely, thin, crispy base. Toppings are lovely. Amazing herbs. Oh, that is good. That is good. Mm. Meanwhile, you've gone for a healthy pizza. I went for a four cheese legara. Four cheese legara, so it's got the salad in the middle. Yeah. Right, how is it? Mm. Oh, wow. Nice. Tastes like really strong blue cheese. Oh, I definitely wouldn't mm, like it's it. It's lovely. Though. Really thin as well. Yeah. Nice. Looks good, but this is where the money's at. Well, Gracie, how was your pizza express? Yeah, it was delicious. Quite expensive though, wasn't it? Yeah, the whole thing was about 37 quid, um, which, well, you've got, the, we had two Coke Zeros, uh, you had the dough balls, I had my plo thing, <laughs> can't remember the second word, ham, and you had your pizza with a hole in it, which was replaced yeah. with salad, which sounds to me like you were shortchanged. I, I think I was, but it was delicious, to be fair. Well, I would argue that mine was more delicious, and mine was so far, one of the best ones of the week it was so good big talk big talk i'm going to do my maybe top five at the end of this week on but suffice to say so far that one is up there that was really good I very like, happy I like mine came with a salad because i like to have a salad with a pizza i don't because then you just fill in the room that could be filled with pizza with, with salad yeah exactly why give me leaves when i could have cheese well, I like So, um, yeah, uh, one thing I, I need to note, after, I woke up this morning with almost like a hangovery kind of feeling. So, basically, the amount of salt that I'm having this week is going to be kind of exponential. So, I need to make sure that I'm drinking more water um, than, than, than I have been. Because, yeah, don't want to wake up with a hangover tomorrow. A pizza hangover, a cheese hangover. I need to cancel out. I do. I need to cancel out the salt. With, uh, with plenty of fluids. All right, let's go home and uh, we have a nap. Oh, I'm so tired. To... Yeah, okay, full, ex full disclosure, I have napped. I'm not ashamed to admit it. A nap is a good time as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so, yes, uh, lunch was so good. I've been thinking about it since I stopped eating it, basically. It was amazing. And I'm really, I don't know, uh, I don't know where it comes from my, from my list of other pizzas so far basically i've only had one shit pizza so 
almost all of the others could be a contender for the pizza of the week. I don't know, don't know. Right. Some time has passed since the last time I filmed, so not much else to report on. Might have to consider getting some dinner. Lunch today has really set the standard. It was so yummy. Lovely Pizza Express at the Pizza Express restaurant. So it's time to mix it up by by having Pizza Express. Yes, Pizza Express do uh, pizzas that you can buy in the old supermarket and do at home. So you may remember when I was perusing the menu, uh, Diavolo, Diavolo, I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but they do a home version. <laughs> Classic Diavolo. So this is spicy beef and pepperoni pizza, spicy beef, pepperoni, hot green peppers, red onions, creamy mozzarella and passata on our classic base. Um, so, yes, this... Ooh, box is wet. Uh, what do we have? Uh, 18 to 20 minutes. Marvellous. Right, let's get it out. Look, oh, look, because the box is wet, it's very easy to open. Lovely stuff. And now it's not easy to get out. Bloody hell. God. <laughs> Nailed it. Right. Uh, yeah, not su not tons of cheese on there, but then again, I suppose there wasn't tons of cheese on the one that I had for lunch, but it was freaking delicious. And all the uh, the beef and the peppers are tiny on there. Isn't that cute? Right, let's get it in the oven. Oh God, trying to do this one-handed when it's a floppy pizza is not easy. Right, there we go. So, if this is even half as good as the one earlier, I'm in for a treat. Oh, and here we go. One... Pizza Express Diavolo? Diavolo? How are we pronouncing that? Diavolo, I would have Diavolo, yeah. So, um, looks and smells really good. Obviously not quite as appealing as the one from the restaurant this afternoon. But, still nice nonetheless. Right, let's get it sliced and in my face. Here it is, the second Pizza Express pizza of the day. And uh, it smells good. Does it smell as good? No. Does it look as good? No. Does it taste as good? Let's find out. No. All I'm tasting is pepper. It's pepper. There's not a huge amount of flavour in that. Just the peppers. There's some spice in it, there's some heat. Oh, there's a lot of heat. But the dough's not great. Bit of tomato. Not getting any cheese or onion. Just getting peppers and uh, and heat. Yeah, so when you have a bit of the base on its own, unsurprisingly, you taste it. But the dominant flavour there is, is pepper. That is a letdown. Today, that's a game of two halves. Pizza Express for lunch, incredible. For dinner, at home, a bit... A bit wank, to be honest. Pepperoni's got tons of flavour, to be fair. That beef, nothing. Mmm. Oh, I feel really sad. You're gonna eat it anyway, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat it all. But that's just. It's probably probably one of the worst things for me. Mmm. Mm. I'm pro I'm gutted. <laughs> I'm gutted mm. today. It was so nice at lunch. Oh. Well, we've decided to have a quick go of Minecraft. Um, it's so, something we've sort of revisited over the last few weeks, really, and we've. Uh, Start to make a whole village here. So, here's Gracie's. Is that an ironmonger's? It's blacksmith. A blacksmith. Same thing, right? It says it on there. Okay, fine. Uh, there's a well. There's just some buildings around here. There's a prison. Uh, there's a house here. This was uh, a particularly proud house of mine. It's a bit dull inside, but look. It's connected by a little walkway. Above, so yeah, there's that. Where have you gone? Oh, you're behind me, are you? Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Mm. 
Who are you? Okay. Sod off. Right, there's a big, there's a big house here. There's a small, ow, unassuming house. But then if you go down here, we've got <gasps> nether portal. Uh, let's go back. There's uh, this small building. There's this weird building here with that overhang thing. Like, I don't know what, what you were on when you made this one. Right, right. What's, what's going on there? Oh, there you go. oh, yeah, okay. Right, and then we've got more buildings here. There's a tower at the back, and there's a big space in the middle where we are going to make a big church, like a big minster, like in York. Yeah. So effectively, we're making mini York, because as well, uh, we talked about putting a whole uh, wall around the outside. So, yeah, we've uh, we've wasted a lot of time in this game, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no! <sighs> there we go. That was the fourth day of a week on pizza. I, yeah, it's, I can't believe it's been four days already. To be, uh, to be frank, and I'm not Frank. I'm Mike. So I don't know why you thought I was Frank. So what happened today? Well, again, no pizza for breakfast this morning. However, lunch was worth the wait. That was such a good. Pizza, crispy base, lovely, salty, flavorful toppings, a good amount of cheese. I mean, there what didn't look like there was loads of cheese on there, but yeah, the cheese there was enough for what it was. Really good meat. The pancetta was nice and salty. The chicken was soft. It had a, a really good flavor. The parsley was really good on there. The tomato sauce was nice. The base was crispy, and uh, just the right, right amount of give and chew and crunch. Oh, that was so good. Dinner, however, despite being from the same provider, although granted it was a pizza that you put in the oven yourself at home as opposed to being made by professional pizza makers in a restaurant environment with a proper pizza oven, it just wasn't nearly as good. It, it wasn't nearly. In fact, it was a pretty much a letdown, to be honest. It was it was better than the uh, the French bread baguette pizza from Yesterday, I think that was. However, overall, uh, yeah, not even as good as the Doctor at Kwon. So that's that's a shame, isn't it? That's sad. Um, yeah, I mean, it it post post made me sad. That's put down on the day. Started up here, and now it's down here. But you know, if if I just if I ignore dinner and think about lunch, it makes it all okay again. There's been way more mini hits this week than misses, and. This is coming from me who said there's no such thing as a bad pizza. Well, it turns out there can be a disappointing pizza. <sighs> but there we go. That's it. Over the halfway point of this week on. Three more days left. And yeah, I'm already sad at the the idea of it ending. Going to have to hopefully make sure there's plenty more highs this week. So if you would like to see the rest of this week on right now, please do consider supporting the show on Patreon. The links are in the description below or becoming a member here on YouTube. Or if not, if you just hit the, smash it, smash that subscribe button, you'll get to see the videos as soon as they come live on the channel. Or just follow me on social media. All the links again in the description where I tell bad jokes and just whinge about stuff in general, which is exactly what I do in these week on videos, isn't it? Right, but there we go. End of the video. End of my sadness. I'm going to think about lunch. Let's ignore dinner. Think about lunch. Ignore dinner. Think about lunch. See you tomorrow. Well, where I'll hopefully still be ignoring dinner. <laughs>